Today on BRS TV, we have the Reef Foundation and Coral Program by Red Sea. In recent years, Red Sea has really stepped up their game and started to take the reef-related products seriously. I think their newer line of test kits is a good example of that effort. They have also developed a solid line of additives that are designed in a unique way that makes sense to us. Let's start with the Reef Foundation products, which are part of their Coral Growth Program. I like that it is clearly labeled as a Coral Growth Program. While this might be obvious to many of us, it is really nice to have the expectations very clear for new reefers. The program is your basic two-part calcium and alkalinity supplementation system. Like many of the two-part systems out there, it is really three parts, with the third part being a properly formulated magnesium component. Keeping these all as separate solutions allows them to match the ionic balance of natural seawater without precipitation issues and what we would recommend as well. They offer the system in these nice little bottles which are probably appropriate for a nano or small tank, but what really makes them different is they offer the system dry as well. The days where reefers were okay with buying water heavily diluted additives are long gone. No one wants to pay for a bottle of 90% water. These kilo sized packages of dry material where you add your own water represent a much better value and are in line with what most of us expect to see from manufacturers these days. The second part of this is where it gets a bit more interesting. Proper dosing of trace elements is something that gets discussed endlessly amongst reefers. For me, there are a few things that are always missing from these conversations. Which elements are worth dosing? What are the appropriate levels? Is there a realistic way for me to test these elements? And most importantly, what type of results can I expect from using them? Fact is, there's very little consensus on the elements that are valuable to dose. Even fewer reefers know the right levels to maintain. And worse yet, there aren't really any accurate methods for testing these elements. Most trace element products have some arbitrary system of addition, like two teaspoons a week, and have no straightforward claims other than you need this amazing product to be successful. Honestly, if you follow these ridiculous guidelines, the risk of overdosing probably significantly outweighs the advantages of dosing the trace elements to begin with. This is where the Red Sea line has really differentiated itself from the rest of the pack. Right now, they have four trace element products clearly labeled as Coral Coloration Program. Each of these are designed to bring out a particular color in corals, and the expectations are very clear, so you can evaluate the results. More importantly, the dosing system makes sense. Rather than recommending an arbitrary dose of random elements, they have designed a system based on common uptake levels. Corals tend to utilize elements in consistent proportions related to other elements. For instance, if a coral takes up X amount of strontium as compared to calcium, this relationship is likely to stay the same. So what Red Sea did was analyze the skeletal structure of corals to identify the composition of elements in relation to each other. The end result is all these trace elements dosing structure is based off the calcium consumption of the tank. Since there are tons of easy, accurate, and affordable ways to test for calcium, this makes a ton of sense. So for every 10 milliliters of calcium solution, you dose one milliliter of trace element solution and maintain ratios similar to coral's natural skeletal structure. Now this methodology obviously is imperfect and can't cover every type of coral out there. That said, this is light years better than most systems random suggestions of two tablespoons every other day. You might be thinking, wouldn't I be better off just buying test kits and dosing carefully based on testing? The simple answer is yes. The more complex answer is you have to know what your goal level is to begin with and there has to be a test available that is accurate and reasonable to do for this to be the right path. Hobby type trace element test kits are notoriously inaccurate or don't exist at all. In some cases, the kit is solid, but considering how low we need to go, it just isn't accurate enough to be used as a dosing tool. Let's take strontium, for example, one of the most popular trace elements to dose. Typical ocean value is around eight parts per million. However, even if we perform one of the more popular kits absolutely perfect and interpreted the results perfect, the margin of error is still plus or minus five parts per million. This means even if we nailed the testing step, our tanks correct eight parts per million could be read as low as three or as high as 13. While this does make sure we are in the right ballpark, it is far from an exact figure. All in all, I think Red Sea put together a solid program that is affordable, makes sense, and has clear expectations laid out on how to use it and what to expect in terms of results. If you are looking for a retail package two-part system that includes an easy to use safe trace element system coupled with it, you can't go wrong with the Red Sea Coral Growth and Coloration programs. 
If you enjoyed this episode of BRS TV and you would like to see future episodes, sign up for our newsletter or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching BRS TV.